What's up you guys? So this is Best Lace Wigs and this is 13 by 6 Lace Frontal. It's 10 inches. It's very curly. I actually did get this like back in the end of July. I wasn't able to do the video because of my son's recent passing. So the price did go up to $64. It was actually $50, but $14 is not really much of a difference. Plus, if you want virgin Brazilian hair and it's a lace front, 13 by 6, and you're getting a good quality wig, then you definitely want to spend like the $64. So the color that I got is natural. It does come with the combs right here by the temple. Along with that, there's a comb in the nape and an adjustable strap. And I went along and sewed in an elastic band. Now let me tell y'all something real quick. I did bleach the knots on this. I did pre-pluck it as well. But I also used a product, which is a tinting spray that I purchased um, months and months ago by the company called Tailored Crowns. There are six different colors. If I am correct, you can either buy them in a three-pack or you can also buy them individual. I decided to purchase them in a three-pack because sometimes you may need to build the color depending on your scalp. The colors that I purchased was the Cafe, the Almond, and the Caramel. One that I feel like that works the best for me is the Caramel or three pack. I think I paid like $55 with shipping and with the shipping and all. I'll definitely try to remember to post Tailored Crown's um, tint sprays down below. But also I was contacted by a company called Wig Extensions who also created a wig tint spray. Now, theirs are a little bit sm smaller bottles in comparison to Tailored crowns there are i think like probably like six or five sprays i'm not really sure i can't remember but they did send me five of their products but three different colors i did get the golden the beige and the mocha beige works perfectly for my skin tone or my scalp tone so you guys definitely want to check them out i'll post their prices and their links below i do like both the tinting sprays but i feel like beige one from wig extensions works amazing i didn't have to mix the colors though i did experiment with some of my lace wigs mixing the colors just to find the perfect color and the cool things about these are they're semi-permanent so you don't have to worry about it. like if you spray it on you know it's not your color it won't wash out it will definitely wash out within in time you can either spray it on your wig while it's wet or you can spray it on your wig while it's dry you can let it air dry or you can blow dry for a recent video I just used the blow dryer because I wanted to show you guys how it worked in this one I think I sprayed I did spray the Taylor crowns maybe I didn't spray anything I don't think I sprayed anything you know what I didn't but I did bleach the knots and pre pluck it and then I did also um why did I lose my mind use the purple shampoo so the beige one is 2.7 fluid ounces and it has this really good smell to it i'm gonna use the beige one real quick i'm gonna blow dry it you just want to take it you can spray it. it says on the back how many pumps you can give you just want to make sure that you can spray it evenly because you definitely don't want to have like light spots um i'm not really too concerned about back here but mainly the front so and I want to tell you guys, this stuff smells really good, okay? Three pumps, five pumps, eight pumps. You know, it's a tinting spray. It's semi-permanent. A few pumps. Hold your wig inside out and spray the semi permanent formula about six to eight inches away from the lace. The more you spray, the darker the shade. Allow time to dry in between sprays for better results. You know, sometimes it's hard to tell, but I'm gonna just do it one more time, you know, for good luck. I'm telling you guys, it smells so good, this stuff. So, I'm hoping the beige worked out. Never tried the golden, I don't think. I'm gonna just try this golden real quick. So I like the whole concept of these tinting sprays. I do like the scent of the wig extensions. And as far as Taylor Crowns, this one doesn't really have a scent as, as like, you know, strong. But anyway, let's get into this video. All right, you guys, so let's get straight into this tutorial. So as I stated, this is the 10 inch, 100% Indian Remy hair curly 
bob it has a normal hairline this is the first time i've ever noticed that a wig would sell for 140 percent density normally it's 150 180 200 so this one says it's 140 percent hair density which is different um the lace color that i have is light brown it's a medium cap the item number is the bob 016 and it sells for 59.99 so as i stated it is a 10 inch bob and it's curly they do call this the jerry curl i like it a lot because the density is perfect i'm not really sure about 140 150 it kind of reminds me the same but you know it is what it is so at this part right here i'm just cutting off the ear tabs some of them because the wig is a little bit you know spacious it is an average size cap so each person's head circumference is different so if you want the wig to sit as flat as possible and also to be comfortable you want to make sure that the lace is right above your ears or like right there where i'm cutting it at so it's okay to cut a little bit away and also before prior spraying any type of product or glue or hair gel you want to make sure that you clean your hairline if you have makeup on if your face is dirty girl go wash it you know stuff like that now this is me always putting sideburns and i like them you don't have to use them but the one thing that i do like about curly hair especially when it's a lace front you don't have to have like the perfect baby hairs you don't even have to have any because it's curly hair so it's thick you know what i mean and it's kind of messy always in the front unless you kind of gel it down so that's the one thing that i do like about curly hair you don't really have to worry too much about the part and you don't have to worry too much about the baby hairs or wispy hairs being so perfect and like camouflaging so with this one i did bleach it to perfection like you don't see any of the knots plus that tinting spray works wonders like i really do like it not like i really need it a lot um because of the lace color that i get but it does come in handy so if you guys ever think about getting any definitely give it a try to hold my wigs down for like a few days i always use the got to be um glam force hairspray i'm not a big fan of the yellow can the freeze blast that stuff does not work does not hold i've used that stuff like 10 11 years ago back when nobody was using it and it wasn't even all that to me then so i went on to using the pump it up i love pump it up but you guys know it's a little bit more runny it takes a little bit longer to dry so when i found this one here at the dollar tree girl i racked up on cans and cans and it actually works amazing like it will hold your wig down for a few days so of course you do see a little bit of hairspray that's kind of like dripped down i'll easily clean that up with um a baby wipe no big deal but it doesn't get messy like you know hair glue and i prefer to use this hairspray versus the glue because the hair glue doesn't hold down that well either um it holds down about the same time frame so less mess less work okay and same time frame of hold especially if you put in a scarf so i'm just going to cut away some of the baby hairs i don't want them so long you know it's your preference how long you want them you don't really need a lot you don't have to use them all you know it is what it is now this hairspray actually dries really quickly too so if you don't have a blow dryer to, to blow dry it down then you don't have to worry about it as you see me using the hairspray prior i just was using it in sections so you could definitely just spray a little bit down and just press down with your rat tail comb in sections and just to re-wet the hair i'm just to re-wet the hair and curl it back up because it was a little frizzy in the front and that was for me ple um, plucking the hairline and brushing it out. I just capped some water and inside of the bottle is some conditioner which is the leave-in conditioner by Carol's Daughter. It's the original uh, formula hair milk. And just to spruce up the front, I'm just going to use my Got To Be Hairstyling Mousse which I purchased also at the Dollar Tree. Now these products are definitely not available anymore. This was some months ago, like I said, I wrapped up. But you can definitely purchase that hairspray and the matching gel gel and the mousse from ulta.com for like four dollars okay 4.99 or you can go to the store and pick it up now i'm putting on i'm now i'm applying the gel which is the glam force got to be gel now I, I put mine's in a jar only because if you leave it in the tube it's a little bit more wet it takes a little bit more time to dry but in a jar it oxidizes so i hope you guys enjoyed that let's get into this um so the one thing that i do like about this wig though the hair is super soft like it's a very pretty texture you know how some curly wigs that are just like a little bit tight curls and then when you start like finger combing them they kind of get a little bit rough or they get frizzy this one gets like soft it's soft so it's easy to fluff out you don't have to finger comb it too much but once it starts kind of getting like that fluffy look it looks a little bit more natural 
and I just think it's cute. I like the curly bobs a lot better than the straight ones, but I like it. It's cute. It's just a, like an all time season unit and it's only $64. Let me know what you think of this unit. I think the actual tint spray worked out pretty good. I sprayed them both on the golden and the beige and you know, it works out pretty good. But let me know what you think of this. She's rather cute. The fit of it, it's good. Um, you know, I did have to cut off the ear tabs a little bit. They were just a little tiny bit too big. I like for my ears to be comfortable. Don't have to spray it down. It's just it's like a force of habit for me. So on that note, check all the information out for Best Lace Wigs, along with the tinting sprays that I have used in this video or mentioned. But I love you guys. I love you all. I want to thank you all for all the love and support while I was gone off of YouTube for a few months. And I just want to say thank you to every guys, every one of you guys. I love you. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, share it, you know, and I'll see you guys in a soon to come video.